It's true. When canned food came out in the early 1800s, it would take decades before there was an actual proper device to open a can. You know, like a can opener. Before that time, you were literally supposed to use, like, a hammer and a chisel. That's not so easy. Eventually, different can opener designs came and went until about 100 years ago, we ended up with something like this, like the modern can opener. But this is still far from perfect. If you've ever opened a can with one of these, and you probably have, you can get left with a jagged edge that might cause bleeding if you barely even touch it, or if you escape the blood, you might end up with just a big mess because the lid falls into the can and then you have to use like a different thing to pry it out and you had one job. Maybe you've just thought there's got to be a better way. Well, there actually is, and it's in the form of this, a better can opener. This is also called a safe cut can opener or a side cut can opener. And today I'm going to show you how to use one of these and, well, why it's better. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And yes, today we're actually talking about can openers, the humble can opener. I'm sure you've seen one of these, you've probably used it a million times, and maybe you've encountered some of the issues that I explained in that intro. And after getting frustrated with these can openers myself, I found this. This is called, like I said, a safe cut can opener. And the difference is that instead of clamping down and cutting from the top, it does exactly what its name says. It actually cuts from the side. And what's great about this is the lid comes right off. There's no jagged edge. And there's also another bonus about using this type of can opener that I'll show you after I demo this. So here's how one of these works. So yes, these do look a little different. They may take a little trial and error to use, but it's really not that difficult. So what you want to do is just put this can opener right here, and you can see that it kind of snaps into the lip just like a regular can opener, and this part kind of braces it. And what you want to do is just turn, just like you would another type of can opener, just like the top cut design. Now, one of the differences with this is that you don't really like hear it being punctured, you know, like you do with a top can opener. You hear that and you know that the seal is broken. In fact, with this one, you may not even be sure that, you know, you're done actually cutting it. But we've kind of twisted here. I can feel it spinning freely, so we know that the lid is off. Once this is done, we can remove this and the lid comes right off. There is no rough edge. It's, you know, nice and smooth, so you don't have to worry about any jagged parts. And that's true of the can, too. It's nice and smooth. It's a lot safer that way. Now, the other cool thing about these types of can openers is with a little bit of practice, you can actually learn to just kind of lift it right off. So you don't even have to touch the lid. The lid just kind of goes into a little groove right here. And from there, you can just kind of take it off. If it's a little bit stuck, you can kind of turn the handle. Now, one other great benefit of these types of can openers is because the can lid has cut from the side, you can actually put it right back on top. And while it's not going to form a seal like it was when it was first canned, you know, you can always put like a rubber band or something on top and kind of put that lid right back on it. So that's another cool benefit of using this type of can opener. Now, there is one more thing to know about these types of can openers if you choose to replace your existing can opener with one of these. Now, on a can like this that has kind of a deeper lid here, you know, it would be easy for a standard can opener because you would just kind of go in from the top. But with one of these, because of that depth, this won't really, you know, cut. And yes, I know obviously this is a handle for, uh, for a pool tab. But what you can do is flip. And here on the bottom, you just have that normal depth. So from here, you can just go in and cut just like normal. Now, as for cost difference between a side cut or a safe cut can opener and one of these standard can openers, uh, these might be a few dollars more. Uh, you know, they might be a little bit pricier depending on the type of model you get. 
but they're really not that much more expensive. I saw one in a store the other day for about $13. Now, one thing to note is that I did have to go to a couple stores before I found one. These are far more common and you know, you can find them almost anywhere. These you might have to look a little bit harder for. I actually bought this one in Belgium last year when I was there on business and I happened to go into this really cool cooking store and I bought this. But you don't have to go to Belgium to buy one of these. You can find them, like I say, in some stores and they're also easily found online. Just look for safe cut can opener or side cut can opener. So there you go. There are some details on one of these kind of funky looking can openers. I think these are just simply better and I'm going to be using one of these for probably most of my can opening duties from here on. I think they're just a better way. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. All right, until next time, keep on cooking.